Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Solar Tech. Maybe you're watching this video and asking yourself a series of questions such as, should I trust Gistop? It's all the way in China. Will the goods actually arrive? Well, I was in exactly the same situation as you before I placed my very first order with Gistop. Of course, I did do my homework, but today I want to share my experience of purchasing another item from Gistop. Having placed my order for the Oppo Pen through the Gistop website, it is customary that they'll send you an email confirming the order. And that is exactly what you are seeing on your screen now. So just to authenticate this video, so on the top left there, you can see that I purchased the pen on the 28th of June, 2023. And then if we move over to the shipping method, which is on the middle right there, I chose the registered post airmail, which as it states, takes 12 to 25 days, which is fine for me, but it's just the pen. Now, if for example, I was ordering a phone, I would have gone for a quicker service, I think, which is uh, within seven days. Obviously, it costs more, but I'm quite happy to pay the premium for But for the pen, 12 to 25 days is fine. And then obviously, if we look at the price in there, and then obviously the shipping and handling. So that's no more than about the, than about seven to eight dollars. Uh, and then if we look at the grand total, we can see that everything comes to 134.76 dollars. So just to give you an update on my order, today is the 30th of June, and I've just received an email from this top confirming that they have dispatched the Oppo Pen. I guess all I need to do now is just sit back, relax and wait for it to arrive. Today is the 7th of July and when I return from work and I check my mailbox, what should I find? This, yes, the Oppo Find N2 Pen arrived seven days after it was being shipped and that is within the 12 to 25 days as stipulated. And the other great thing about this as well is that I did not have to pay any custom duties whatsoever. This is not the first time I have ordered from Giztop and the item has turned up earlier than expected. So here is the package. It is fully sealed. And just to think, this has come all the way from China. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is open this up, go wash my hands and I'll be right back. Just in case you're wondering, this is how the Oppo Pen was packaged. And as you can see, it is sealed all round. Okay, so let's get into it. Inside the box, you have the Oppo Pen and what looks like the charging cradle. We'll come onto that very shortly. So here on the inside, you will have the instruction manual, if I can get it out. It's pretty cool. Look at this. Again, the attention to detail. Pull that out. Look at that. You've got the Oppo pen. And so I've had a look at this. And the instructions are only in Chinese. So unless you can read Chinese, then you are going to struggle like myself. But I think it's pretty simple to work out what to do here. Okay, so now let's move on to the Oppo Pen itself. Oh, I am super excited. Okay, I'm going to show this to you as best as I can. Uh, yeah, and it's, it is really light. And you've got a little button there to press a certain thing functions. It's really good. And then you've got the Oppo nugget at the top there. So again, looks really, really nice. And again, it is really light and also I can compare it to the S Pen this is the fold edition for the Samsung Galaxy uh, Fold 3 As you can see here that's slightly shorter the the upper pen on the right hand side yeah okay, that's really good I like that like this small size of it and then in comparison to the Oppo Fine N2 so look at that so yeah really really nifty really yeah I like it, I like it, yeah, really good. So here is the charging cradle. So that's where the charging cable goes inside. Let's move along. 
and then here if you look ever so closely that's where the LED lights will come on when the pen is charging I shall demonstrate that very shortly again really light indeed okay so moment of truth let's uh, put the pen on and then ah there you go just as I confirmed well that's pretty much the unboxing of the Oppo Pen, which I have yet to use, but so far everything looks really good. One thing that happened to me off camera, and I'm not sure if I'm able to demonstrate it, was when I put the pen in the cradle like this. Oh, there we go. It seemed to link up with the Oppo Find N2 very quickly. So that's superb. Okay, there's just one more thing I need to show you. Just to show you how much I love presentations whenever I buy anything from China and stuff and that is just when I thought everything was dealt with with the unboxing but yet when I pull this little tab here look at this wow attention to detail so it looks like I've got some spare tips and then I've got this I'm not too sure what this is for I will work it out in due course it may be to put around the pen and the cradle but Again, excellent level of service. It's my experience of purchasing an item from this top. Yes, it was the Oppo Pen. Regardless, if it had been a cell phone, the level of service would have still been excellent. This is not the first time that I've ordered from this top, and it will not be the last time that I ordered from them. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for this episode. My name is Shola. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another episode. Ciao.